All right, let's clear the page. All right, so this question is asking, what color light has the highest frequency? So we're looking at highest frequency. So we'll mark that as F. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, whenever we're, we we want to look at kind of the electromagnetic spectrum and determine that based on um, kind of the visible spectrum. So the visible spectrum will give us um, color, uh, light that is colored. So to uh, a nice mnemonic to know um, to know the order of the visible spectrum is Roy G Biv. So sometimes this is with the eye, sometimes it's without the eye, depending on um, what the textbook says. So here R is red. So R is red. Here I'll make um, I'll make that color. So R is red. Oh, we don't have an orange. Okay, we'll just we'll just stick with black here. So R is orange, Y is yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So to 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 know which side has the higher frequency, you want to um, flip this mnemonic. So you want to start with the R on the right side, and then O Y G B I V, and then uh, to uh, how I memorize it is I draw this kind of wave that's small, and that slowly gets bigger, or or not bigger, but has wider wave ones. So this isn't really a perfectly represented. I can draw a better one here. So here and then goes something like that. So on the left side, we know that the wavelength is very small. So we have a very small wavelength. And we know at the right side, we have a very large wavelength. So just based on looking at the the, the this over here and then on because of the equation C so speed is equal to F lambda so lambda is wavelength F is frequency we know that frequency and wavelength are inversely proportional because of this equation so we can say that F is inversely proportional to lambda Therefore, we have high frequency over here and low frequency over here. So let's get back to the question, what color of light has the highest frequency? So from our diagram and our mnemonic, so we can see the highest frequency is on this side. And we know that violet has the highest frequency. On the right side is red, and we know red has the lowest frequency. So let's look at the attempted solution. So here, um, concept, they describe the concept. So using the uh, mnemonic Roy G. Biv backwards, uh, since the speed of light uh, for all colors, the variation of wavelength is inversely proportional, so it's correct. The visible light consists of light varying from violet to red, wavelength from 4,000 to 8,000. A red color has the maximum wavelength, whereas the violet has minimum. So that's correct as what we said. So minimum wavelength for violet and maximum for red. And according to relationship between frequency and light, they're inversely proportional. And then the violet color has the highest visible colors, um, color is highest in the visible colors of light for frequency. So the uh, solution is correct. So here um, they also ask, what is the lowest frequency? So we, we already kind of, uh, in, said set what, what it was it would be so violet for a highest frequency and then red for lowest frequency and that's what they outline and then second highest frequency over here so frequency highest in the violet so we know second high, highest is indigo um, and then therefore frequency of indigo is the second highest visible color so this is kind of a nice way to memorize um, which color in the visible spectrum of electromagnetic waves has the highest frequency, lowest frequency, highest wavelength, and lowest wavelength. You don't necessarily have to memorize all four of these. Really, you only need to know that frequency on the left of this diagram is highest, right? And then everything else can be 
inferred based on just this point. So you memorize one thing and then you infer everything else based on the relationship of frequency and wavelength. So correct answer. Great job. So we'll mark that as correct.